All right, this one's gonna be on uh, Banshee, the media player. Now I've been using this and testing it out since uh, the zero dot something beta days, so that's been a while now. And the newest version is 1.4. Now the reason I'm talking about it now is because uh, <clears throat> I heard it's gonna be the default on Ubuntu. Maybe the next release or the one after that. Um, not definite, but that's what I'm hearing. Okay. So I would recommend getting the getting the newest version from their uh, PPA or if you're a newbie or whatever and you don't want it, the newest version anyways it doesn't really matter to you uh, go to add and remove in or the synaptic and search for banshee okay and that's pretty much how you would install it um, so after that <clears throat> this is the program now this program you know is for music for video, radio, and anything that has re related to, to uh, media, okay. I don't believe uh, it works with a DVD right now, but maybe in the future it will. So that's just one downfall of this program right now. Um, as far as the music and video, uh, it's, they organize it really well, okay. You see how it has, you know the freaking album and then uh, the, your your music here right organize it really well I like it uh, even the video library it organize it by name and stuff like that so I dig all that the one thing I don't dig is um, you know when you uh, importing the media folder so let's say you're importing uh, your your music folder or your video folder right it doesn't really matter and then it loads it all here for you. It organizes it by name and everything. Um, it doesn't sync with it. So you know, next time when you're adding a new album or a new song, or whatever, or a new video, it doesn't scan the uh, that that folder again to see which has been updated or which uh, you have dropped in there. You know, it doesn't do that, which I fucking hate. Okay, do that shit for me. You know, do something like Picasso, where Picasso, um, you know, when you you have something, a new folder or whatever, I mean, a new image or whatever, they not scan the fucking folder and drop it in there for you automatically when you when you load up. Do something like that, you know. They don't have that for this one, which annoys the shit out of me. I have to do it manually every time. Don't like that, okay. Uh, next one is uh, the radio. They, I don't see anything in here. Look at this radio. What's in here? Uh, I believe it has a uh, radio section last time, but uh, as we now, I don't see shit. Okay, so you probably have to add it manually if you know the station. I don't dig that. Uh, last FM. I don't really know the people that uses this, so it's pretty useless to me. I don't never use that. What I wish they do have is uh, Pandora or Groove Shark. Where you know you you stream the 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 music online is a great for service, okay? Pandora, that thing is pimping. So include that shit, okay? Which they don't have. I mean, that, that's just something I like, okay? I think more people would be attracted to Pandora, um, you know, if it was integrated with this here. So that's that. Um, as far as playing the music and everything, it's fine. You play it. Uh, you know, it's playing here, and uh, the the playing now option it looks pretty nice too. You know, it has the the album art, which I believe it downloads it online, and uh, it tells you everything. So you know, if you have like people over, you can put full screen. It looks nice. You know, that's that's pretty good. Uh, video also is pretty nice too. You know, playing it, and it's smooth. It's really uh, smooth. You know, it's not glitchy or anything. It's fast, okay. I would say uh, uh, better than Songbird and Miro and all that crap. So it's very light to me. But uh, one thing I really hate is uh, is the stupid slider up here. You see this slider right here? It's really annoying, okay. I mean, you can't use the the backwards or forwards arrow to. Uh, you know skip through through it like when you're watching a video or whatever you can't skip through it if you click on like over here it doesn't go over here it doesn't do shit over here see that you have to actually drag this motherfucking shit 
which annoys the shit out of me, okay? That is fucking stupid. So that's that. That's another annoyance that I have with this program. Um, next thing I, I noticed they do have is uh, my friend was uh, <laughs> was complaining about this one. But now I, I guess they have it because uh, the equalizer, okay? I, I, didn't, I didn't believe they didn't have this before, but now they do. I mean, it's not that impressive. Look at how it looks like, but uh, hey, it's here now, okay? So, that's something uh, they should work on uh, maybe more. If there's a lot of people, are, you know, the, I love the equalizer. So, that's just worth mentioning that something that I, I saw that was new. Um, another one is in the preference. They do have, like, extensions or, you know, add-ons, kind of like Firefox kind of thing, but uh, they do have it here. See with the iPod support and all that, and uh, MTP, uh, kind of like with the Sancha players and all that, right? And uh, <clears throat> so that's pretty much it for uh, that. They do have extension, like I said. Um, oh yeah, the podcast is uh, another noise that I do have with this one. I mean, they should have the rules. If you guys used Miro before. They should have rules for kind of like mural for this pro, this section of the the program, the podcast, because the podcast right now is is pretty stupid. When you're playing, you don't have an option of stopping. You know, if you if you only want to play like one uh, video and then stop, right? They don't give you none of that. They don't give you that option. I, I don't I don't see any of that option. So it keeps playing the whole fucking thing, and that is annoying the hell out of me. Okay. And um, they do have some kind of rules, like it downloads the newest one only, right? But uh, as far as, you know, it keeps playing the other crap, that annoys the shit out of me. You know, give me some rules for, or some more options for this uh, podcast, which I've been waiting for a long time since uh, zero point something, okay, like I said. So they haven't actually done shit with the podcast, okay, that I, that I noticed. Uh, one thing I do like about the, the the podcast option is uh now I'm talking about podcast as in uh, video podcast okay not audio podcast audio podcast is pretty straightforward it's just audio done deal okay so this one is like a video podcast you know when you're playing a uh, video podcast like uh the Techzilla thing here All right uh pretty straightforward. So, I mean, um, even if you didn't download the whole file, because, you know, Miro, you have to download the whole fucking file, and then you can watch it. Uh, this indicates, a little dot right here, indicates that you download the whole thing. Now, if you haven't downloaded the full thing, you can still watch it. It's, it's like a buffering. So, let's say this one, I, I haven't watched it. I mean, I haven't downloaded it. And you click on it, you can still play it. And you see it buffers right here. And it buffers, like, every, like, uh, two minutes or something. So you can still watch it, but uh, it's not fully downloaded, which I do dig about that, okay? And I love that. But uh, as far as the podcast, uh, the delete option, you know how you want it to delete if you after you watch it? They don't have that. And uh, Miro has that shit down, okay? You delete after a certain, like maybe you want to say, oh, delete it after three hours or 24 hours or whatever. Give me that some option like that, okay? So pretty much the podcast option here is pretty useless, um, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so that's that. <clears throat> now this is uh, this one is not working right now, but uh, I, I like to mention it is the the playlist uh, generator. Uh, this one is called Mirage, and it's kind of like the Genius. Uh, the you know Apple they have the Genius uh, thing. Where you know it, it suggests which uh, music uh, that that you should have uh, listened to, kind of like uh, Pandora, where they suggest uh, the music uh, related to that or similar to that. This one is kind of like that. Those two, where it, you know you you drop in a a song and it will try to generate a list uh, of uh, similar songs to that or whatever. So I mean the idea is there, but it, as far as right now, it ain't fucking working. But uh, look for that in the future. So that's that. Uh, what else is there? Uh, that's I think that's pretty much it. Um, you know they have cover uh, uh, cover arts or uh, cover album arts for your music. I'll download that shit. 
so uh, that's that's pretty much all I wanted to say as far as this program I love it and I hate it at the same time because the annoyance is uh, ruining my experience with it but I love the program and I love the idea of it the execution is not there though so uh, I would still recommend it to people if you're looking for a, uh, me an all-in-one media player kind of thing and organize it all together this is great for that so that's that for this program